If you are a Maya user and you want some tools to make simulations, especially things like fire, smoke, liquids, and destruction. And if you're not satisfied with the built-in tools for fluids and dynamics like the integrated particle system or Maya fluids, you might be wondering if there are some plugins that are worth looking into to get the job done. And of course, without compromising quality. Well, look no further because this is what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Before we continue, I wanted to let you know guys, especially Maya users, if you need Maya plugins and scripts for modeling, with topology, rigging, animation, rendering, you name it, you will find a list of the best stuff in the description of this video. For example, for topology, you can use a plugin like Zrail that allows you to create polygons on sculpted surfaces in a beautiful way. And if you want to do some hard surface modeling, you can take a look at plugins like Mod It, Plug It, and Stamp It, which will allow you to create complex hard surface models like robots, weapons, or anything else of this kind. For animation, I highly recommend the Pavel Barnav animation scripts because they are just amazing, and they are used by many VFX and game development studios. For simulation and effects, you can use some of the best tools like FumeFX, for fire, smoke, and explosions, pull down it for destruction effects, and ornatrix for hair and fur. So I highly recommend you check out these tools because it will save you a ton of time and headaches, but it will also support this channel. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Fume Effects, which is a plugin developed by Sintisati. This is actually one of the early plugins that is tailored for creating fire and smoke simulations, and firstly, it was only used with Max. It has been used in quite a lot of movies like Blade, Ghost Runner, Thor, 2012, Iron Man 3, Ant-Man, and Captain America the Winter Soldier, just to name a few. And honestly, probably most of the movies that used fire and smoke simulations in the late 2000s and the early 2010s. However, it is still popular nowadays. This plugin uses a very accurate solver based on the laws of fluid dynamics and simulations to simulate the most accurate and realistic combustions of fire, smoke, explosions, and so on. In addition to other gaseous phenomena like dry ice effects, combine that with the Viewport 2.0 of Maya and the accelerated GPU preview. So you as a simulation artist or a TD, you can review and change the look of your simulations without rendering them, which was not the case before, where you had to open the Fume Effects window to see a low resolution render of the simulation. This accelerated preview is also useful to tweak the shader of the volume in real time or at least get close enough to the final render without wasting resources. As we all know, rendering volumetric simulations can take a lot of time. And speaking of rendering, FumeFX integrates pretty well with all available render engines, whether you are rendering directly in Maya or exporting the simulation data as a VDB for other software. It is also worth pointing out that FumeFX can use Maya and particles to initiate explosions and other effects. FumeFX simulations can also be retimed to give certain desired effects like slow motion. In addition to that, the casters are optimized to save you space. Moving now to RealFlow, which is also a fluid simulation plugin that found its way to Maya. And I'm sure some of you might already know what it is. And some of you know it as a standalone package, which was developed by Next Limit for simulating fluids of all scales, like liquid splashes, tendrils, and huge ocean waves. But the thing is, RealFlow has many plugins for software such as Max and Maya. While the Maya plugin may not be like the standalone version, take the Hybrid or Solver for example, which is responsible for many ocean shots in the Viking TV show, for example. The solver isn't available in the Maya plugin. But despite the limitations, the plugin still can cover all of your needs to create some stunning looking simulations. And contrary to what most people think, RealFlow is not only for liquids, because it can also simulate rigid and soft bodies, as well as granular stuff like sand and snow. Not to mention mixing granular and liquid stuff like wet sand and mud. One of the features that come with RealFlow in Maya is the Daemon Spline or D Spline. 
It basically makes the Floyd follow a certain drawn curve, and it is in the fact most of you have seen in some beverage or chocolate commercials, in which real flow really shines. Another feature is the Crown Splash preset that lets you create incredible liquid macro shots in a short amount of time. Real flow also makes use of the GPU to accelerate the simulation time to get a faster feedback and make more iterations on your project, and it uses the open VDB mesher to give faster results and smooth with final liquid meshes to render. Another Fluid Simulation plugin for Maya is called Chaos Phoenix, previously known as Phoenix FD, which is developed of course by Chaos Group, the makers of the famous V-Ray. And this one, in my opinion, is probably the most versatile, because it not only creates all sorts of explosions and smokes, but it can also create different kinds of liquids, such as water and oceans, oil and honey, and it can even create lava, thanks to its physically accurate flip solvers. You can think of Phoenix as having both real flow and fume effects in one plugin and it even lets you create realistic and large ocean simulations. It also got a path follow feature, just like this plant in real flow, which allows you to simulate liquid, fire and smoke along a curve. Another cool feature is the body force that can combine between objects using liquids, and a bunch of other features that work both for commercials and for VFX work. And just like Fume Effects, Phoenix also has accelerated GPU preview that renders fire and smoke right within the Maya's viewport. Not to mention its good integration with Kaios renderers like V-Ray and Corona, but also Arnold works great with it. What's also interesting about this plugin is its user-friendly interface, in addition to its ease of use, and it even comes with some pre-made presets that get you started with, like the gasoline explosion and the chocolate and honey presets. Phoenix has a neat feature called the particle shader, and using it you can get realistic looking bubbles, foam and mist while being efficient in rendering. Phoenix also comes with three additional tools, a standalone simulator, which allows you to simulate even if Maya is closed, meaning fast and more efficient workflow. The second tool is a standalone previewer, which lets you preview simulation caches and VDB files also without the need of opening Maya. And the third is the cache converter, which basically converts sim caches from and to different formats, which is really useful. Now, if you are only interested in rigid body dynamic simulations, pull down it is probably the choice for you. It provides a lot of shattering and cracking options to create realistic destruction effects. For example, you can shatter your objects either randomly or using curves, and you can even animate the shattered objects along desired curves to give it the effect of breaking gradually, which by the way is highly optimized, especially in the latest release, not to mention the ability to concentrate shattering and chipping in certain areas to give a more believable fracturing look like glass for instance. Pull down it also takes advantage of the Maya cache playback, so after baking the simulation keyframes, you can preview your simulation in real time without any stuttering. This plugin can find its use in many cases, including VFX for movies, but I personally think that it is well suited for use in games for its quick workflow and simplicity, and it could easily be integrated into any game development pipeline as a shattering and fracturing tool. And there you have it guys, if you are interested in one of these scripts and plugins, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.